If you haven't done so already, please pause the video and try the question on your own before moving on. Our goal is to come up with a 45 ohm resistor, but the problem, of course, is that we have only 20 and 50 ohm resistors. So we have to make some combination between the 20 ohm and the 50 ohm resistor in order to come up with 45. Now, we could try various things. Part of the problem solving here might involve some trial and error. One thing we should note is that just connecting them in series is not going to work because when we connect resistors in series, we have to add their resistances and 20 plus 50 is gonna make 70 and that's already too much. That's already well above the 45 ohms that we need. So we know that some kind of parallel combination is what we're looking for. Let's go out on a limb and test to see what happens if we combine two 50 ohm resistors in parallel. Now, because they would be in parallel, they would obey the following equation. And in this case, the R1 and the R2 would both have a value of 50 ohms. We could then add the 1 over 50 plus 1 over 50 to get 2 over 50. And then we can reciprocate both sides of this equation, which essentially just means flip both fractions upside down. And then we could divide the 50 by 2 to give us 25. So what that means is that together these two resistors of 50 ohms each provide an equivalent resistance of 25 ohms. Now that's interesting because our target is to reach 45 ohms. So what we could do is add an extra resistor. Perhaps we can put it right here. I think you could also put it up here and it wouldn't matter. And we're going to make that resistor have a value of 20 ohms, which is what we have at our disposal. Remember, we have that as an option. And what's nice about that is, again, that these two combine to make an equivalent resistance of 25. So if we were to redraw that, it would look like this. And here's that 20 ohm resistor that we inserted into the circuit. Now notice these are in series with one another. And when resistors are in series with each other, then the total resistance is obtained by just adding them. So if we added the 20 ohms to the 25 ohms, we would of course get the target value of 45 ohms. And so this circuit right here is going to be the winner. It's going to have an overall resistance of 45 ohms. So our final answer will be to connect two 50 ohm resistors in parallel, which gives us again 25 ohms, then connect that parallel combination in series with a 20 ohm resistor that will give the total resistance of 45 ohms. To get to 35 ohms is going to require a little more ingenuity. Now here's a picture that turns out to be a good option. It's a lot to take in, but let's break it down. So you'll notice that we've included two 50 ohm resistors that are in parallel with one another. We've already stated that those would simplify to make one resistor that is 25 ohms. Now it turns out that if we put two of the 20 ohm resistors in parallel, we could use the parallel resistor equation where we have that reciprocal law and we would add the 1 over 20 plus 1 over 20 to give us 2 over 20. And if we flip these fractions around, we can see that the REQ is going to be 20 over 2, which, of course, 20 over 2 simplifies to just 10. And so these two in parallel would combine to give us a resistance of 10 ohms. Now, what we'll notice is that that 10 ohms plus the 25 ohms would give us the target value of 35 ohms. So if we took this 25 ohm resistor and connected it in series with this 10 ohm resistor, then we could see that we could add them to give a final resistance of 35 ohms. So putting it all together, the final answer would look like this. We would first connect the two 50 ohm resistors in parallel to get the 25 ohm. We would connect the two 20 ohm resistors to give us 10 ohms and then we would connect those combinations in series to give the final value of 35 ohms. If you were required to draw this circuit, it would look like the following, where the two 50s are in parallel, the two 25s are in parallel, and then the two sets of parallels are connected by a wire to put them in series with each other. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.